Back now to Miami Beach's newest top cop, giving us a glimpse of the man behind the badge. He sat down with CBS News Miami's Joe Gorcho for an exclusive interview. What is your feeling about this historic appointment? Oh, that's a big question. That is a big question. Still trying to wrap my head around it. You know, I, I, I never imagined becoming a police chief of this, this wonderful organization. What would you have been doing then if you were not a police officer? You know, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, you know, I, I, had, I had ambitions and, and fantasies of becoming a, an airline pilot. His love for flying is evident with pictures of planes hanging on the wall and monoplanes placed throughout his office. I fly on a weekly basis. Focusing on the moment um, and, and being uh, present, uh, feeling at sometimes at one with the aircraft. He's focusing on his moment. Next month, the 27-year department veteran will become Miami Beach's first black police chief. The city commission unanimously named Jones the 21st chief in department history last week. The applause came with concerns from at least one city leader about the current issues plaguing Miami Beach. Commissioner Kristen Rosen Gonzalez said in a statement, that there is no law and order when referring to the city of Miami Beach, that there's open drug dealing on the streets, our hotel owners hire private armed guards to protect themselves. I think if the city's ever gonna overcome spring break as we know it today, it's gonna take a comprehensive and collective effort. The mayor himself, Dan Gelber, called spring break too rowdy. We've got a number of initiatives on the horizon where we're putting more police officers on the street at any given time to address this sort of um, in your face, uh, street level uh, drug activity, increasing visibility uh, with uh, putting more police officers on the street because we want people that live here to come here to visit to feel safe by seeing police officers around. Jones adds leveraging technology will also assist in decreasing violent incidents during spring break. So we have hundreds and hundreds of uh, camera views throughout Ocean Drive and the Art Deco Cultural District, a force multiplier for that. Uh, um, and, and I think that makes a huge difference. Jones adds that continuing to work with local business owners to understand the greater good will help reduce violent episodes during spring break, mentioning that crime rates have dropped yearly in the city over the last decade. Joe Gorcho, CBS News, Miami.